We're going oh, over man. one of my favorite guard passes. Today. One of my favorite, so great guard pass. I said favorite. I actually used to use this a little bit and then got out of it. But Mike is popping up. Okay, he's got his hands on his hips. He's gonna come up on his toes. And there we go. Now, one hand is gonna reach behind him. Dig under. He's gonna keep good posture. Now he's gonna reach with the inside hand that was on his hips to control his inside leg, collapse in the body, and roll around. For MMA, what makes this a really good pass is whenever you posture up, you can reach by and punch. We'll go over some like really good detail, details on this in just a minute. Maybe even 10 minutes, maybe a few minutes. Maybe I'll tell you what, I'll edit the video and we'll go over them like right now. Whenever I come up, a lot of people do this. A lot of people put all their weight right here and then put their feet on the toes on the mat. Don't do that. The reason why is if I put all of my weight on him and he's got strong legs, good guard stuff, he's going to throw me around. Okay? I don't want that. I'm going to put a little bit of weight on him and I'm going to come up on my toes. Okay? So I've got good posture here. Come up on my toes. Okay? Notice I can do this almost weightlessly. So, once I get here up on my toes, get good posture, I'm going to push my hips in and I'm going to be like, I'm, I feel like I'm a king, I'm, I'm royalty. Posture up, okay? This is still here, reach by. The reason I want to be high, higher, is uh, not high like in Smoking Dope. Not this is an Eddie Bravo video. Just playing, I had to put that out there. Okay. <laughs> So, if I am a little bit low here, or down on my feet, and I try to do this, and his legs are up here, he can throw me around, he can triangle me, he can do a lot of stuff. Uh, if I get somewhere like this, I'm reaching back, and he's got good leg, he'll just toss me from side to side. By raising myself up, I'm making his legs uh, lower than my center of balance, or center of gravity, which makes it hard for him to toss me around. So, I'm here. I'm like this. Now whenever he tries to toss me around with his legs, I mean, I've got a good base, okay? Good base for good balance. This hand comes back here. I'm going to pull this off. Now this hand is going to come on the inside of the thigh, and I'm going to put my body on the back side of his leg. So I'm collapsing my body on the back side of his leg, sliding around, okay? You can even take this if the person is trying to uh, shrimp back into you. You can put your other hand here on the thigh. So let's do this from another angle. Let's switch angles. Boom. All right, here, hands inside, maybe like this. Bam, walk myself up here. Pop up to my toes, reach back. Notice I'm really, really tight here. Bam, get this broke, collapse, drive myself in and pass. The main thing I see with people that mess this up is what they do, two main things. I guess if you have multiple main things, it ain't a main thing, it's several things. They lean forward too much to try to get to their toes. That's big. Uh, whenever they get up like this, they've got too much of a flare in their arm. And what this guy does, he just picks their, hit the arm off and they get arm drug. Uh, arm will be too straight. I want my arm tight next to his leg and I want to create some tension here between my arm and his leg. I want to feel his, uh, his hip movements. Whenever I go back here like this, another thing that people sometimes do is they'll be down like this. What happens is he just throws his guard up a little bit, pushes my guard up, and I'll start to have problems, okay? So, whenever you're here, nice and proud. Another thing, his toes back here. Let's switch real quick. We're going to circle this way. So his toes right here, they uh, will look to this side and try to switch because they're trying to find the top leg. Instead of fooling around with the top leg, what I like to do, go ahead and switch your feet with the other one's top leg. If I get to here and I'm having problems, and I like to dig in like that, I'll just grab the toes and push the toes. I'm not turking, twisting his toes, I'm just pushing his toes. So whenever you, regardless of how he's locked, if you'll pick a top foot, push the toes down, then go for the leg, slide, and pass. Okay? Hope you guys helped us. And like I said, for MMA, man, you can just punch the crap out of somebody from here. Pull around like that a little bit and then go back to punch them. Usually they'll open your guard for you and you can